In the next minute, I would like to show you some interesting data about IL-13. For many years of research, IL-13 has been underestimated as an important Th2-related cytokine driving inflammatory processes in affected tissues such as the skin. The most common Th2-related skin disorder is atopic dermatitis, and we now have a better insight into the multiple targets and biological effects of IL-13 in this particular disorder. Therefore, IL-13 is now in the focus of drug development programs aimed to specifically target either the cytokine or its receptor. Tralokinumab blocks the binding of IL-13 on both the IL-13 receptor alpha chain and the alpha-2 chain and is now approved in Europe for the therapy of moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. Labrikizumab binds to the cytokine in a fashion that it still binds to the receptor but inhibits the aggregation of the receptor subunits and thereby the signal transduction. Labrikizumab is in the late phase of clinical development. More recently, the clinical development program of a third compound was started, the so-called Aslan-004, which specifically binds to the alpha chain of the IL-13 receptor. We are still thrilled to have such new compounds available for a better management of our patients suffering from atopic dermatitis. Thank you very much for your attention.